Well, perhaps there's a reason for preseason after all. The Packers did not look great, especially on offense, I thought. That's what this video is going to be about. Their offensive struggles, why they were only able to score, you know, as little as they did throughout this game. I actually, you know, little spoiler alert, but, you know, we're going to get into all of the stuff and, you know, the things that went wrong and some things that I thought went well. There, It wasn't a complete disaster by any means. There were some positive takeaways, but the main point is I think they'll be okay. I don't think it's a big deal. I just think they need to gel better, and there still are some potential concerns might be the way to phrase it. So let me get into just what I thought about this game itself, and then we'll talk about the rest of it. So we'll start off with this play because this was the first play, and it really was kind of, you know, of course this would be the first play, right? So the one thing I have to say is this is actually a great route by Christian Watson, which I actually think is optimistic. Like, listen, the way this works is it's going to be a quarters coverage play, and so there is safety help over the top, but if Watson can stay close enough towards the sideline, there's a chance it could be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Watch how Watson kind of fakes it though he's running over, over the middle a little bit, but then gets back to the outside, and he just blows by that defensive back. I mean, this is a great route, and he is wide open, and to me... I know what's about to happen is, you know, this is like one of those uh, images taken right before disaster type situations. I know what's about to happen, but this is optimistic. This should make you happy if you're a Packers fan, because if you can get this open, uh, I'm sure he can learn how to catch the football, right? That's going to take care of itself. This is a good thing. That being said, he does, of course, just, you know, drop the ball, goes right through his hands, maybe call it, uh, you know, a rookie nerves, whatever. Certainly disappointing. Would have been very, very cool for him to, you know, get like a big touchdown on his first NFL play. How awesome would that have been? Uh, you know, tough, tough break. But listen, that's football. Sometimes you drop a pass. I'm not overly concerned about that. And even stuff like this, I'm not overly concerned about. To me, this is more of like, this is just stuff that will get better with time. You would at least hope if you're a Packers man. Or watch how right when this play begins, the player that Rodgers wants to throw to is, you know, currently cutting right here. But it looks like Rodgers was expecting him to cut a little bit sooner and get over a little bit quicker. This is Romeo Dubes, who, you know, we have not seen Rodgers play with him in the NFL because he's a, you know, fourth round pick of this past draft. He's a rookie, so it's just going to take some time to get the chemistry because watch what happens. Look, I mean, you're just going to see that they're just not on the same page. That's what happened there. So got to get on the same page, you know, and if you can do that, well, then you're going to start to look okay. Uh, but, you know, these are the growing pains you have week one. And like there was some good as well. I, you know, early on, I do have to say like that's something that did happen. We did see some positives, uh, even with all the negatives that we were seeing. There were some plays that worked. Well, I would say it's it's definitely true. I haven't shown a bunch of plays, but it's definitely true that there were plays where Rodgers looks downfield, sees nothing, so has to take a check down or takes a sack or whatever. That for sure happened. But there were also some plays like this that's going to be schemed up well. This is kind of like what we thought could happen with Matt LaFleur is he can kind of just scheme up a situation like this where it's zone coverage. He has the two eligible receivers lined up to Rodgers' right, running over the middle, and he had the halfback sort of running out to the flat in that area. The hope is that all of the Minnesota players go over the middle of the field, and Rodgers can just hit the halfback underneath. And look, Rodgers is going to take the snap. He, you know, looks over to his halfback, who is completely wide open right here. Rodgers will hit his halfback, who then is able to, you know, Aaron Jones picks up a big chunk play on that one. That's a great Matt LaFleur play. LaFleur loves those plays, and, you know... I love those plays. They work out really well. He does a great job at scheming those up at the right times, and you don't need to necessarily have them, you know, you don't need Devontae Adams for that play, which is kind of the, the hope is that you can kind of do more of that. But one of the things you can't do more of is stuff like this, where, you know, this play is just going to be a missed throw. That's, I mean, you know, that's what it was. It was a missed throw. Maybe it could have still been caught, but it was a missed throw. Rodgers, you know, you hope that that cleans up, and it probably will. It's Aaron Rodgers, so, you know, you expect that that won't continue to happen. However, this play was something that reminded me exactly of that New Orleans Saints game, which was, you know, you're, you're hearing a lot about it as the Packers are struggling. Now, the Packers didn't score a touchdown in that game. So, you know, even then it was a little bit, uh, you know, much. But, you know, uh, there still is, I can see why the comparisons got drawn. And this play was exactly like one of those plays where Rodgers is going to take the snap. Uh, you know, uh, there's some pressure he's able to sort of get to the side and just kind of throws one up there. It looks like he had a receiver open, and this is exactly like he threw an interception to Marcus Williams in that Saints game week one last year that is very similar to this, where he kind of has an opening and just completely airmails it. And as you see, Harrison Smith, uh, so, you know, he's able to get the catch this time, get the interception. So, 
I don't know exactly what ha happened. We don't have the all 22. When that comes out, maybe, you know, something was different because Rodgers and LaFleur were really mad at something on this play. I'm not sure if they thought there should have been a roughing the passer or what, but uh, they were very upset about something. So I don't know what that was all about. Maybe it was the wrong route. I honestly have no idea. But, you know, looking at the evidence that we have now, it seems likely that Rodgers just, you know, uh, airmailed one, which, again, don't want to see have happen and maybe it's just a lack of playing in the preseason it takes him some time to get you know some good playing time and of course this play which is this is bad for a couple of reasons where the first reason why this play is gonna be bad so anyways you know first and 10 uh you're at midfield you're in a good spot right here you know uh you're only down 17 yes you haven't scored in you know 33 minutes whatever uh 17 point game you have plenty of time score a touchdown here and you're right back in it as you see Rodgers is going to run this play action and there's pressure right here I just don't know what Rodgers is doing here I really don't like you you have to say right now you have to be making a decision the ball has to be coming out of your hands really right now if you want to throw it away you can throw it away I mean you're outside of the pocket at this point you can just chuck one into the, the sideline and you're good instead Rodgers just holds on to it and he's gonna you know really get sandwiched in between it's actually a, a defensive lineman and an offensive lineman who we got sandwiched in between and those are dangerous plays guys get hurt that way so you know if you're a Packers fan you're saying listen the sack and the fumble losing the ball okay that's football that happens like you know it's a football game it's week one it's not the end of the world, but don't get yourself hurt. That's the thing that you can't let ha happen because, you know, uh, regardless of what some people think about Aaron Rodgers, the Packers absolutely need Aaron Rodgers, so can't be doing that. So yeah, as a whole, that's really what I thought about this game was that, like, listen, it was not, like, there were some positive takeaways, and especially I thought as the game went on, you saw kind of them be able to run their offense a little bit more, but it is one of those things where, especially in hindsight, you think about this and say, okay, we knew that Aaron Rodgers was going to have to gel with all these new teammates that you just brought in. Why didn't you give him a preseason game to do that? Why didn't you, you know, why are you just having them start preseason, you know, start the season week one right away? We already saw last year that it didn't work out well. This year hasn't worked out well. I have to assume next year it's not something you're going to do. Now, is it fair to say that's the only reason why this was an issue? No, I don't think so. I think, A, I think the Vikings played well. I like their defensive game plan. I'm excited to see what they're going to do the rest of the season. You know, uh, there are two teams playing. But also, like, just because last year they turned it around after week one doesn't mean that they're always going to do that. It's very possible that they could have these some of these issues continue to be issues. That's absolutely a very possible thing. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if some of these issues are long-term issues. The fact that receivers were struggling to get open, which caused Rodgers to hold on to the ball for 15 seconds and then get sacked, uh, you know, and also the offensive line itself had some issues. Part of that was just injuries, which is, you know, you can't really fault them for that. But, uh, you know, hopefully they get healthy. But, you know, even with that, I think that there's there were some issues that the Packers just have to work out. Their defense also wasn't fantastic, but that was also kind of you're, you're playing Justin Jefferson. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do there? Jefferson was incredible. He's a tough guy to cover. But that's kind of what I thought about this game. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.